flow of life. There is a misconception that while meditating, one has to cut off all contacts with the outer world. And when non-meditative, all connections with the inner world are cut off. The inner and the outer world are considered to be separate from one another. It is saying that the circumference and the center are separate and there is no connection between the two. This is erroneous. The circumference exists with, because of the center and the center has significance because of circumference. A particular center is recognized in relation to a circumference. When you believe silence to be preconditioned for meditation, then you will feel uncomfortable when it is disturbed. Many times people complain they cannot meditate because there is noise, children are making noise, the cars are passing on the street, dogs barking. What dogs have to do with your meditation? Dogs do not know whether you are meditating or not. Religiously they continue their barking. And they are not bothered about your noise or anything. They continue to do their barking when necessary. Only man is concerned that he cannot do this he cannot be religious, he cannot be meditative because there are so many distractions. Why does this happen? It is always because of expectation. When you can listen to noises and silence equally with the right attitude, you will find no difference between the two. When you listen in silence, you will hear many things surfacing. Sometimes these two and at other times they make comments. There is a meditative way of listening. Do not expect meditation to be just sitting or walking mindfully or eating mindfully or doing anything slowly and quietly. What you do is really not significant. What really matters is the way you do it and this will determine whether you are meditative or not. Quite often we get attached to form, to external ways of acting and consider this as meditation or non-meditation. But when you are in a form, you try to shape yourself in a certain way without a meditative mind. However, those who are attached to form would emphasize certain postures like lotus and positions and also a straight back as preconditions for meditation. It does not matter whether you sit or lie down, but what really matters is that you are relaxed with clear awareness to all that is happening in and around. Certainly this is meditation. You need to grasp the essential nature of meditation. Meditation is here now, not here and now. With a simple and clear awareness, you can see, hear and know what is happening. You know the object of meditation and also all that is happening within and the interaction between the two, you are meditative then. In most cases, while meditating, you are cut off from the relationship between inner and outer. There is a misconception that while meditating, you have to cut off all contacts with the outer world. And when you are not meditating, all connections with the inner world are automatically cut off. This cutting off implies an approach of exclusion, concentration, fixation or being closed. This is not being open. Most of us are afraid of this openness. We do not want to face all that is not expected, particularly when the thing 
is frightening or unpleasant. When you are not able to let go of the past and expect the same unpleasantness to happen, anxiety breeds in. For example, if you have had an unpleasant married life, this will hang around you and you will find it difficult to enter into a new relationship. Meditation is the way to let go of the past. Also then you can live with the past even though it has not been dealt with. A meditator deals with it when it actually arises. This is why meditation is living in the present, living now and living here. I saw a van, the person has got written on his van. Yesterday was history, today is a gift and tomorrow is a mystery. Meditation is living in the present, living now and living here. Every moment when you are awake, you are fully alive in awareness. What else do you want? You may wonder how to be awake always. You feel it is a burden to be awake. It is a misconception that when you are awake, you cannot be happy. This means you are conforming to the idea of awareness. This is quite different from being aware. Certainly, when you try to be aware, it becomes a burden. It is the effort that burdens you. You need not make any effort to be aware. Actually, when you are making an effort, energy is dispersed. There are two reasons for this. First, certain energy is needed for the action and for making the effort. Energy is also used when there is anxiety and tension. Thus, energy flows in various directions in making effort and in dealing with anxiety and tension. This makes you frustrated and tired. If you succeed in gaining awareness through effort, you will feel proud. And as soon as you congratulate yourself, awareness disappears, leaving you frustrated once again. That is why it is said, take meditation as a game. You can then laugh and will never lose awareness. There is hope that your being is flowing in your own direction. Many possibilities are open. You are constantly in a state of flow. It is quite easy for someone to flounder, both in the negative and the positive state. You can understand the negative easily. You know that you cannot move on and you become unhappy with all your failures, obstacles and barriers. When you are held back by the positive, it is very difficult to comprehend because everything is pleasurable. It is the main obstacle preventing the further movement. It is in frustration and suffering that you grow in wisdom but neither state should be created. What is more important is to see if we are flowing or not. Often it is said that meditation is to gain peace and happiness. This is right, but not completely so. If you expect something out of meditation, then that becomes the hindrance. Meditation is not goal-oriented. When you set a goal, then it is the ego working and it puts you further away from the reality. Take meditation as a game, a playfulness. Then many things will happen, but you are not expecting anything out of it. When you are sitting and doing some movement or some gestures, you are really aware of such movements in relation to feelings and ideas. At other times, when you feel nervous and there are movements, are you aware that you are nervous? More often than not, we miss the relationship between our feelings and movements. There is a vast difference between awareness 
and concentration. Let me explain the difference. Your room is dark because the bulb has flown. You have to change the bulb. So you use the flashlight to look for the bulb. The light of the flashlight will focus in the direction of the search and rest of the room will be dark. This is concentration. The light is there but only where it is focused. Then you find the bulb and change it. The whole room is filled with light and there is light in every corner. The whole room is filled with light. This is awareness or meditation. When the inner lamp is lit, no dark spot remains within and its reflection is seen outside. Awareness is open to all that is happening. All you need is to watch. If you watch attentively, you will be able to look, not otherwise. At the same time, if you fix your attention only on one spot or direction, then you will miss many other things. When you fix your mind on something, this is concentration. We react against being fixed. We want to feel that something is being done. This is ego. Meditation implies looking at the ego because ego is always interested in doing. In that case, ego is the object of meditation. Then what is meditation? I have already spoken. It seems you have not grasped the essence as yet. Meditation does not need any idea. All you need to do is to start, enter into action and techniques that can bring awareness. Be fully aware of all that is happening now and be in touch with it. All definitions of meditation become a barrier for me. But why? Simply because by nature man conforms to idea and the way of meditation is to be free. Definitions lead us to a narrow path of journey. When you have definition, everything is taken for granted. You say you know. This becomes a conclusion. When you conform to a certain idea, you tend to argue with those who disagree with your concept of meditation. Meditation is experimenting into the unknown. Arguments avoid such experiments. Arguments are based on past experiences. These are burdens. Meditation is journey into the unknown.